Hi everyone, welcome back to my interview series where we break down real interview questions that were asked in Qualcomm interview. In this series, I don't just give you the answer, I help you understand the concept behind them so that you can confidently face any interview. In today's video, we cover 10 Qualcomm article design interview questions that focus on coding clarity, design practices, and debugging skills. So, let's start. One of the most common yet tricky questions, blocking versus non-blocking. So, blocking executes one line after another, while non-blocking executes concurrently at the clock edge. So there is one rule in this, use blocking for combinational and non-blocking for sequential. If you mix them, you may pass simulation but fail in hardware. Interview love to ask why let's get in full. So because you don't assign value in all paths and there is a fix always give a default assignment this shows that you understand clean rtl practices coding question implement a divide by three clock divider so this tests your ability to handle counters and sequential logic in interview always explain your thought process before jumping into code so this is the code uh, which is clock divided by 3. Now Qualcomm doesn't just ask coding. They test if you know timing closure basics. If you see negative setup slack about talk about pipelining, restructuring RTL and reducing fan out. This shows that you understand not just design but also synthesis impact. Parameterized adder. Another coding question build a parameterized and bit adder. So when interviewer asks about parameterized, you get confused like what is parameterized? How I you design a code using parameterized? If they ask you simple, just draw, uh, just code out the adder, then you go for that. But adding parameterized make a just simple twist. So uh, the keyword here is parameterized. Interview check if you think about reusability and scalability in your design. So we just use parameter n equals to whatever we want to take we can change here n equals to 8 and this thing uh, we take an input using parameter n now moving to next question meta stability qualcomm is very strict on clock diamond uh, clock domain crossing so show that you know single bit it uh, two flip-flop synchronizer multi-bit handshake or async FIFO. If you can explain why metastability happens, you will instantly impress the interviewer. Many engineers ignore lint, but interviewer don't. Be ready with examples, info, latches, multiple driver, uninitialized wedges. Mention tool like spyglass or Questa lint. It makes your answer practical. FSM coding problem are a Qualcomm favorite. For a 1001 detector, explain state step by step, then show code. They are checking if you think in terms of state diagram before writing Verilog. Suppose synthesis show high area utilization, what do you do? Talk about resource sharing, smaller counter and using shifts instead of multipliers. This proves you know RTL level optimization. Finally, the dreaded 
full case versus parallel case question both are dangerous because they assume things about synthesis better always write explicit cases or use unique case this show you understand both coding pitfalls and synthesis behavior